Where and when the first humans arrived and settled in North America is a question that has intrigued scientists for centuries. While the debate continues to stir controversy in academic halls, a recent discovery in the heart of Oregon has brought new evidence to light, evidence that pushes back the timeline of human occupation and settlement in the Americas by thousands of years. In the high desert terrain of central Oregon, a rock shelter known as Rim Rock Draw has become the focus of archaeological research. The evidence found here makes it the oldest human-occupied settlement in North America, older than previously discovered sites. The excavation at Rimrock Draw began in 2011, when archaeologists first set out to explore this shallow cave, located just outside the small town of Riley. The site had already been identified as a potentially rich source of ancient artifacts. Surface finds had hinted at it, but the true depth of its historical significance wouldn't be realized until the team began to dig down. Led by archaeologists from the University of Oregon's Museum of Natural and Cultural History, the team has conducted extensive work at the site. They have used the latest archaeological techniques and technology to carefully excavate the location without damaging any artifacts. The site has revealed a wealth of clues about ancient human activity. These finds include the remains of animals, as well as crafted stone tools and weapons made from unique materials. For a long time, it was believed that the first humans in the Americas, the Clovis culture, arrived around 13,000 years ago, crossing from Siberia via a land bridge called Beringia. They were thought to have entered through an ice-free corridor between two ice sheets. However, new evidence challenges this theory. Studies show the corridor likely didn't open until 11,000 to 12,000 years ago and was uninhabitable for centuries, making it unlikely the Clovis people used it to spread across the continent. This question gained further weight when later the Meadowcroft Rock Shelter in Pennsylvania was identified as the oldest known human occupation site in North America, with artifacts dated to at least 16,000 years ago. Then, Cooper's Ferry in Idaho, also dated to around 16,000 years ago, was announced as another early human site. These sites suggested that people were here before the ice corridor opened, implying they likely traveled by boat along the Pacific coast, a theory known as the Kelp Highway Hypothesis, traversing a rich coastal ecosystem of kelp forests, seals, and shellfish. But Rim Rock Draw was about to stun everyone. The first major breakthrough came when the team unearthed fragments of camel teeth and jaws. It is important to remember that camels actually evolved in North America before migrating to Asia and Africa, eventually going extinct in their homeland. These teeth belong to Camelops hesternus, a species of yesterday's camel. Unlike their modern dromedary cousins, these animals stood seven feet tall at the shoulder, weighing nearly 1,800 pounds. These were not just any camel teeth or jaws. Scientists believe that this camel was butchered by the human inhabitants of the rock shelter, based on some deliberate human markings on it, as well as the presence of some tools found in direct association with the remains, which we will cover in a moment. This wasn't simply an animal that died naturally and washed into a cave. This was evidence of a targeted kill and processing. The teeth were found beneath a layer of volcanic ash. In archaeology, volcanic ash is gold. It provides an undeniable timestamp through a process called tephrochronology. Each volcanic eruption ejects ash with a unique chemical fingerprint that can help scientists distinguish separate eruptions. This specific ash had been laid down by an eruption of Mount St. Helens, not the 1980 eruption, but a massive event known as the Set S eruption, which occurred over 15,600 years ago. The layer of ash effectively sealed the teeth, preserving them for millennia. The discovery of these camel teeth beneath volcanic ash suggested that whatever was down there had to be older than 15,600 years. The science of dating then took center stage. Geologists and geochemists performed radiocarbon dating on the enamel of the camel tooth. The results of this analysis were staggering. The tooth enamel from the camel was dated to approximately 18,250 years before the present. It is important to note that the term before present, or BP, is used instead of years ago due to a scientific convention. BP dates are calibrated against the year 1950, the standardized point in time when extensive radiocarbon dating began and nuclear testing started to contaminate global carbon-14 levels. In addition to the camel tooth enamel, the excavation team uncovered some finely crafted stone scrapers made from orange agate. This material is significant. Agate was a material that was prized because it breaks with a conchoidal fracture meaning it fractures like glass, creating edges that are sharper. Furthermore, orange agate does not occur naturally in the immediate basalt walls of the shelter. It is an exotic material, meaning it must be carried there. The presence of this specific stone indicates that these early humans traveled specifically to gather high-quality materials or traded with other groups to obtain them. 
One of these scrapers, after discovery, was subjected to residue analysis, a chemical process that checks for ancient proteins. It was found to contain traces of bison blood residue. This is the smoking gun. You might wonder how blood survives for thousands of years. It survives because the proteins get trapped in the microscopic fissures and cracks of the stone tool, protected from bacteria and ultraviolet light, effectively fossilizing the residue. This shows that the tool had been used to butcher large game, likely the bison antiquus, the larger ancient ancestor of the modern buffalo. Another scraper was discovered later, buried even deeper within the volcanic ash. This provided further evidence that the site had been occupied well before the eruption of Mount St. Helens. The deliberate choice of orange agate as the material for making tools, a non-local raw material, suggests a level of experimentation and technological sophistication, implying that they spent enough time in the region to discover, test, and repeatedly return for the best resources, a practice highly indicative of a more settled long-term occupation rather than just a brief transient visit. This means humans settled in Oregon during the absolute height of the last glacial maximum. At this time, the ice sheets were at their thickest. The ocean levels were hundreds of feet lower, and in this environment, humans were butchering camels and bison at Rimrock Draw 18,000 years ago, since the tools were discovered further down in the ash. The layering of the sediments, the stratigraphy, indicates that they predate both the volcanic eruption and the camel teeth. This follows the law of superposition, a fundamental principle of geology. In undisturbed layers, the oldest material is at the bottom. This means Rimrock Draw Rock Shelter at the moment is the oldest human occupation site in North America, predating the famous Clovis culture by more than 5,000 years. Some archaeologists involved in the Rimrock project argue that the site may be even older than the current dates suggest, potentially far older. The current benchmark date of 18,250 BP is derived solely from the camel tooth, which was found above the deepest artifacts, and is therefore not the oldest material in the shelter. In archaeological science, when a date comes from an associated animal remain, rather than a directly dated tool or hearth, it is treated as a minimum age, a no later than marker. In simpler terms, if the camel was already lying there 18,250 years ago, then anything buried beneath it must have been deposited earlier. This could mean that early humans may have been using the shelter during a period approaching, or possibly surpassing, 20,000 years ago. As more of these deeply buried artifacts are dated, especially tools with traces of preserved animal residue like the bison blood, the picture of early American occupation will only grow clearer. As excavations continue, the ultimate prize remains the definitive, undisputed answer to one of humanity's great questions. Who were the first Americans, and when did they finally call this continent home? Thanks for watching. If you found this information fascinating, you can like this video, subscribe, comment below with your thoughts, and share this story with a fellow history enthusiast. Farewell until the next discovery.